Hello, my name is Tarun Agarwal and I am MLM Automation Expert. I help people to make money online using digital network marketing business. Okay, so if you're if you are attending my web my uh, this if you're visiting my YouTube ch channel for the first time, in that case, do subscribe the channel and also like the video if you like it at the end of the video. And also, if you have not attended my webinar yet, my live webinar, I do live webinars every week. If you have not attended it, then you can go to this link dnaclub.in slash webinar. In this live webinar, what I do is I share about a very clear roadmap on how to make 1 lakh rupees per month by 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 building your business as a digital network marketer okay so yeah so i am inviting you for my live webinar so just uh, submit your details in using this link and you will be getting my uh, some of my valuable content on your email okay let's start so today in this tutorial what i'm going to share with you i'm going to share with you about a very interesting very important tool that is calendly so calendly is a tool which i usually use for my uh, for booking for booking uh, my meetings okay for scheduling my meetings so this is basically a website and also there is a mobile app which you can install uh, on your ios device or android device so as a businessman there are many scenarios where uh, you want to manage your time and uh, you want people to book book a time based on the calendar settings which you do for yourself so for that calendly is a beautiful tool and uh, yeah it has a free mode and also the paid mode Right now, I'm I'm using the free uh, version of Calendly, and it is uh, it is actually uh, it is it is very good. Okay, I I don't feel any requirement for the paid mode as of now. Okay, maybe later on I may go for the paid mode. Okay, so how to set up the account? Okay, so what you have to do? Go to Calendly.com and then go to sign up, and then then just fill up your email ID. Okay, sign up with through your email ID. Fill up all the information which it I uh, asked. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm not going through all the steps on how to set up your account, but once your account is created, then I'm going to show you my, the entire portal, my own portal on how I am using Calendly. Okay, just to give you a demo on what kind of features are available here. So when, see, once you create your account in Calendly, you may find multiple uh, calendars. So you can remove all the calendars and just uh, and just keep only one calendar. Okay, right now. So this is how I am using it. So I use only one calendar okay and all remaining calendars i just deleted those now what i do is this is my event okay so uh, once you log into your calendly uh, account then you can see event types schedule events and also the workflows so workflows are mainly when you use the upgrade or the uh, pro mode of uh, calendly where you can uh, get options like text reminder to your host text reminders to host and also email reminders consistent email reminders to uh, to the to, to the person who has booked a meeting with you okay so this kind of workflow this kind of email reminder and sms reminder are possible if you uh, go for pro mode okay so initially i used uh, initially when you register for calendly you get 14 days free trial and in the free trial uh, you get all these options to send consistent email reminders like one hour before the meeting one day before the meeting sms reminder so all these features are in build there so you can check out the pricing but right now i'm using the free mode now in the free mode how i am doing it is uh, i have created one event and this is the event okay by clicking on this new event you can create an event and this is an event which i've created now if i go to this setting option so let me show you what all options are available here okay so let's go through these options one by one because all these are very very uh, important for you so fun, first is event name okay what will be the name of the event i mean to say once a person opens your calendar okay and you given you give a link to the other person to book book a timing with you in that case what will be the headline okay so headline is uh, i have set here uh, business consultation with tarun and you can also share the description like 30 minutes uh, consultation uh, call on zoom you can discuss about your network marketing business challenges uh, with okay with tarun okay let's build mlm business 100 percent on it so like this i give this link i i give a link I, I will let you know how to create a link okay to uh, book a meeting so this is the event uh, name you have to enter uh, description one or two line description and also you can have a event link okay like this calendly.com ask tarun slash and this way i have created my own link my own custom link so that it is easy to understand okay so this way you can put your name or something like this consultation one to one meeting something like this okay so this is one thing event name let's save and close next is uh, this option when can people book this meeting 
okay so what i have done is by default it is indefinitely into future which means if a person opens your calendar and he can in that case he can he can book meeting for uh, for next one month two month one year also but no i wanted a person to book my meeting timing only for next five days only okay today plus five days so that's why i've selected i've entered five i can change it to seven also five also like this so five days calendar five calendar days into the future this this way i've set and also duration of the meeting i've set as 30 minutes so whenever i do a one-to-one -one meeting i do i set a duration as 30 minutes only uh, how do you want to offer your availability in that case one is use an existing schedule which is by default nine to five nine to five and sunday and saturday off or else you can click here set custom hours and every day accordingly and then i uh, i have what i've kept it kept it is at as uh, morning 9 to 11 every morning 9 to 11 i do uh, myself i keep myself available for these one to one meetings okay so 9 to 11 9 to 11 now suppose if i'm not available on third and fourth and fifth so what i do is every sunday i keep myself free for all these meetings and also if in a particular day say for example thursday i'm not available so what i will do uh, what i will do i will click here and then click on edit date and then i will delete this or i can change the date so which means this will be applicable only for this particular date okay so this way day by day date by date or weekday weekday you can make the changes and accordingly you can set your own timings work work timings so if a person check your calendar okay and tries to book a meeting with you in that case uh, all the available time will be visible there and accordingly that person can book the time with you right so next is want want to add more uh, time before or after the event so i've said five minutes before and five minutes after reason is sometimes 30 minutes call may extend to 35 minutes or 40 minutes so what i have done is five minutes before and five minutes after i have kept this, this as a buffer time okay so this is why i have set and uh, next is additional rule is here i have set uh, like show available uh, start times in increment of 30 minutes because I've, after every 30 minutes i do these meetings and scheduling condition is now this is these two settings are very important that is invitees can't schedule within now suppose if you open my calendar today okay and if you try to book a one-to-one -one meeting with me so i have set here as 15 hours which means right now the time whatever time is uh, it is right now you cannot book a meeting with me for next 15 hours okay after 15 hours only you can book the timing with me okay meeting with me so i can set it to 24 hours also which means today if somebody tries to book a meeting so today it will not show avail available time only tomorrow a person can book a time okay so this way and also maximum meeting per day so morning 9 to 1 i do one to one meetings but as soon as i get three meeting appointments i my entire day is blocked okay so my entire calendar says okay tarun agarwal is not available today right like this so i do maximum three meetings per day so this is uh, this is again essential uh, setting because if you don't do this and if you share your uh, calendar uh, uh, time time booking link with other people then they may fill up your entire day okay so it is practically not possible right so that's why i keep only three meetings per day okay this way then time zone i uh, i selected automatically detect and show the time in um, in my attendees time zone okay like this and i just save it and close okay right now let's cancel it okay so all the settings i have done here uh, using this calendar uh, option okay now next okay next is invitee question so if a person uh, tries to fill up the form if a person wants to uh, book a meeting with me then i i want to ask name his name his email id and also uh, please share anything that that will help prepare for our meeting so this is a simple text box which person can fill up and also i can ask more questions like say for example if i want to ask your current occupation or something like that in that case i can also ask more questions okay so let me give you a uh, live demo okay so this is a live demo of my calendar okay so if somebody if i share this link with somebody who want to meet who, who want to discuss with me in that case uh, i have kept third uh, third and fourth i have kept myself as not available so on friday person can click here and can see my available time okay so between 9 to 1 pm only this way so if i if a person clicks here 9 30 am clicks on confirm then i'm asking name email id and 
anything which you want to add here so schedule time as soon as the person schedule this time the person will immediately get an email i also get an email and also i have integrated i have integrated uh zoom i have integrated zoom with calendly so i get email notification with a zoom meeting detail and the person other person also gets zoom uh zoom details okay with that with, with proper time and date now let's go to uh, this point okay notification and cancellation policy so this is uh, the email reminder so if you upgrade to premium in that case you can you can set email reminders like one hour two or six hours to go like this email follow-up also you can initiate text reminders uh this is again possible if you if you upgrade to pro mode okay let's cancel this now confirmation page once a person fills up the entire uh, once a person uh, books a meeting with you then what to show on screen okay so there are two options one is display calendly confirmation page which uh, just shows okay your meeting is booked or else what you can do is you can redirect that person to your custom link suppose you have a landing page and you want to redirect a person to your landing page then you can click here and you can put your landing page link so person will automatically be be redirected to your youtube channel or instagram whatever you want right this way now next is collect payment so if you want to collect payment okay using stripe or paypal for all your one to one meetings it is also possible so you can you can charge for your meetings so again in pro mode you can do it right so right now stripe and paypal these two payment gateways are integrated right so these are some options now let's go to integrations so what i have done is i have integrated this is something which i really love about calendly okay that is i i have integrated calendly my calendly uh, account with zoom okay with zoom so all these you can integrate calendly with all these uh, tools also like uh, microsoft teams uh, go to meeting uh, gmail also paypal zapier facebook okay so like this you can integrate with other tools what i have done is i have done integration with zoom okay so click here and then uh, right now it is connected already connected with my zoom account what you can do is you can uh, follow the process it will just ask for your zoom id and password your zoom account credentials enter your zoom account credentials and it will be integrated with your zoom uh, account so which means if anybody if anybody books a meeting with me okay through this link in that case what will happen the person will be able to uh, get the zoom details on email and uh, on the schedule time 9:30 a.m. on the schedule time that person can open that zoom link and i will also get a zoom link and then we can we can have a meeting okay so that means there is no need to share zoom link with the other person it is auto created by calendly app right so all these things are available in calendly you just uh, try you can try it out after watching this tutorial also you i suggest you to install a uh, calendly mobile app okay so i am using iphone and i have installed calendly mobile app through which i can see all the upcoming uh, meetings and it automatically integrates with my uh, phone calendar app also okay now once all the settings you are done uh, using this uh, uh, the setting option once you done all once you have done all these settings in that case just copy this link what you can do just click here copy link and you can share this link with other person if anybody wants to book a one to one meeting with you okay so this is a complete tutorial about calendly i would like you to try this out okay just try this out how to use calendly i am very much sure that you will love this tool if you are still not using it uh, just try using it and if you have any kind of question just put it in the comment uh, box below and also uh, let me know if you want me to create uh, a tutorial of any other tool which you want okay because i have created tutorial on zoom and uh, webinar jam kajabi many other tools if you want me to create a tutorial on a particular tool then you can share that suggestion also subscribe the channel and also again i'm repeating if you are looking for making money online uh, through digital network marketing business then go to dnaclub.in/webinar and i would like to i would like to see you in my upcoming webinar okay so subscribe to my email list by going through this link okay see you and uh, subscribe the channel bye